and welcome to the Megabyte Podcast for May 21st, 2020. I'm your host, hipster cat Brian Gavados, and I'll explain what that means in just a few moments. This week, we continue our conversation about the upcoming Discovery Expo. So everything you need to know to prepare to win for the Discovery Expo is in this episode. So listen to your team captains. In fact, let's introduce you to your team captains now. Here we are. We are with the training teams from across the countries. It's an international consortium here on the Megabyte podcast. We have countries from all over the planet represented here, all the way from the United States to Canada. Now that we have all the countries listed, let's get to know each other. Let's let's, let's do some introductions. Let's start with you, Ryan. Who are you? What's up, guys? My name is, my name is Ryan J. Whitehead. I am part of Team Cloud Kitty. What up? How's everybody doing? I am your Marvel superhero fan and video gamer. Yeah, man. That was a very, very compelling year you gave there. And that's just the that's just a sample of the kind of energy he's going to bring to the team. So, yes, as Ryan said, he is that captain of one of the teams for Discovery Expo. And so if you are on his team, you get to look forward to his gaming and Marvel know how and passions, I assume. Who else do we have in the room here? Richard. Oh, hey, I'm Richard. I am the Curious Cat team captain. And listen, if anybody ever told you that curiosity killed the cat, they're wrong because curious cats are the best cats. I also like Marvel, maybe not as much as Ryan, but definitely more than Brian. All of that is accurate. Hey, let's keep going here with Josh. Hey there, Brian. Well, it's Gamer Cat Josh here. Uh, super big film fan, super big gaming fan. Just love everything about entertainment, and hopefully this will be an entertaining event for all of you. And I guess I'll go next. I'm Brian, and I am going to be the designated hipster cat of the Discovery Expo. So if you love steampunk and you wear monocles and Arcade Fire it was cool, but now they're not cool anymore, then you're on my team. We're uh, we're going to be leading the hipster brigade, and it's going to be nonstop irony. And we're going to love it, but also hate it because that's what's cool to do. Alex, you're you're last. Who are you? Hey, everyone. My name is Alex Humble. I am the surfer cat. Uh, I'll be your, your team captain for all the surfer cats out there. You can expect me to pontificate on just like the benefits of of the outdoors, man. And how like, you know, Led Zeppelin, Lord of the Rings, it's all still very relevant. I think it's clear that we are a very organized professional group of, of retail training professionals who can't wait to lead our teams to victory and success. Right, guys? Right. That's right. So as a quick recap, what is Discovery Expo? We, we, we talk about this all the time on the team and how to encapsulate it and really make it clear to everyone out there who's listening about why you should attend. And really, it is those three fundamental buckets. It is new experiences, engaging in, in games and, and learning from different trainers and different content about the Microsoft ecosystem in new ways in our whole new world of social distancing and everything. These are the kinds of experiences that really matter. And it's more prizes. So it's new experiences, but it's more prizes. We are all on this call. I know very impressed with the with what we know so far about the prizes that will be on offer. And suffice it to say, it is in your best interest to really, really dive in and get engaged with Discovery Expo because we have prizes to share. And then it is that same great community. It's that expert zone community. It's your peers. Anyone who's selling and representing Microsoft and who's been on expert zone is eligible to be in the Discovery Expo. So we are going to be interacting with our peers, learning best practices, and again, having some awesome competition with, for example, the teams that we discussed earlier and the team captains who are with us today. So I would love to hear from you, fellow team captains, who, by the way, I believe you're all my enemies, right? Are we all enemies? Is that official? Frenemies. 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 Mm -hmm. So why, in your own words, why is an event like this so important right now? Why is Discovery Expo so critical for our field team and for anyone representing Microsoft in store? Yeah, so I'll start off with, with just the way we normally do things. Normally, we take these experiences to just a few places around the country, and only a few hundred people can attend. Well, uh, this situation that we find ourselves in, it has actually pushed us to innovate and come up with a way to incorporate and include, I mean, thousands of people that usually just don't get to experience anything like this. So Absolutely. It's made us much more inclusive. 
That's a great point, Alex. And you know what? When we think about the current times that we're in, and many of us have been unable to work in the stores that we normally work in, and some of us are going back into those stores, I think it's a great time right now before we get back into stores or just as we start to work back in the stores to refresh that knowledge, to learn about the products that we're selling a little bit more, just to, to get us back up to speed and, and you know work out some of those some of the, the rust that we may have accumulated over these past couple of weeks and months. Yeah, that's such a critical point. We we will, it's cliche to say, but we want to hit the ground running. I mean, customers are their, their lives have changed just as our lives have changed, and so the working from home environment or just the changing of the work landscape in general means that customers are going to come in. They're going to come in hot and heavy with new questions, new scenarios, new needs, and that's why this kind of expo I think is perfectly timed so that we can dive back into the store better than we have ever been before. So when when it's busy in the store it's easier to sell products because nobody expects you to be an expert, right? You're busy, you're bouncing between customers. When it's one-on-one, which it will be more of now that there's only like one person allowed in the store at a time, you need to really know your stuff because you're expected to really take that quality time, right? So now you gotta, you gotta know your stuff. Yeah, so what you're saying is the engagement and the interactions that are around the corner as as you know countries and retailers start opening back up again, they're going to be necessarily more intimate, more involved, deeper because of the level of distancing and the level of how the traffic will be flowing through the store. So knowing your stuff is really more important than ever. We have Ryan on Team Cloud Cat. We have Richard with Team Curious Cat. Alex leading Team Surfer Cat. Josh, Team Gamer Cat. And me, Ryan, Team Hipster Cat. We have these five teams all competing for scoreboards, tokens, prizes. This is an amazing event and it's going to be broad in terms of competitive nature and how these teams are interacting with one another. So we have live event communication. When we're engaged with these live events during the Discovery Expo, you're learning new content, you're participating, you're providing your feedback, you're playing games. Your team captains will be engaging with you to try to make sure your team is performing at the best standards it can. We're going to be communicating on a weekly basis with updates as well as the event progresses. So with that said, let's hear from each of our team captains. What is your message to your team right now? How do you want them to get prepared? What are you going to amp them up with? How are they going to win? Team Cloud Cat, what say you? We say we're going to put the ouch and me ouch. And uh, we're going to cut his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to be there at every game and we're going to win and we're just going to live on cloud nine. That's right. That's how we roll in the clouds. That's a bitterly strong words from Team Cloud Cat. I wonder how Team Curious Cat, under the guidance of Richard Gunter, will respond. Listen, without curiosity, you will learn nothing at the Discovery Expo. And so we want to stay curious. We want to learn everything there is to know. And only with our curiosity will we be able to go into every single live event with the questions that are necessary to ask all of our great facilitators and learn everything we need to know. So stay curious out there. Come to all the events. Team Curious Cat for the win. We're going to take this thing. Brutal, brutal. I mean, the last dance ain't got nothing against those fighting words. How about Team Gamer Cat, hosted by our own Josh Bassetti? Josh, what kind of foray, what kind of fighting words do you bring to the table for your team? Oh, uh, well, you know, Brian, as gamers, we like to just assess the situation, try to pick the most strategic execution method, and then destroy it. So it's going to be one, two, three. We're going to observe, we're going to develop a strategy, and we're going to take over. It's that simple. Gamer cats, rise up. I, I, I must admit, I'm a little intimidated by how smooth, warm, and kind and gentle your tone was, yet how brutal and evil your words really were. So I'm intimidated, but... Let's not fear. Team Hipster Cat, I'm your fearless leader. And between my love of espressos and anything made with hemp, we are going to strive forward because we are hipsters and nothing is cool enough for us. And we are probably not cool enough for anything, but it doesn't matter because coolness doesn't bother us at all. Victory is what counts. And we are going to be prepared. We're going to be focused. We might roll our eyes from time to time because that's just in our DNA, but we will prevail because we want some freaking prizes. So finally, what up, dude, says Team Surfer Cat. Alex, what's your message? 
Team Surfer Cat. Well, we have our place. It's made. It's we have our place in the sun. We're gonna keep that low key energy and just stay, stay in that flow because we're gonna show up to every single event. We're gonna keep that energy rolling. We're gonna keep those prizes coming. We're gonna actually absolutely crush the competition. So those are our intense fighting words from our. Uh, we're just so, we're such a macho group, as you can tell. I mean, this is just gonna be this is gonna be a bloodbath out there at Discovery Expo. I'm sure. Sure, you're getting that accurate impression from us. But anyway, how can these teams get points? What does winning actually look like? Great question, Brian. You know, we talked about how we all our teams are going to win, but how can they win? Well, first thing you want to do is log in daily. Every time you log in, you get credit towards your score. Next, you want to complete the trainings that are, that are available at all the different pavilions and earn tokens to play the mix and match game. The more you play that game, the higher your score is going to get. We're also going to have daily live events. So when you attend those events, you can watch them, answer the quiz afterwards and get even more points. And finally, don't forget to refer your retail pro friends and we'll talk to alex about how you can do that yeah and that's one of the most critical parts when you first start when you when you initially register you want to make sure that you're typing in your referral code if, if someone has referred you so after you've registered check out what team that you're on uh, and then tell all of your friends about your referral code so you can help get yourself and your team credit to win even even more prizes and goodies all right so just a quick recap if you want to win you want to get the most points be sure to check daily because so keep logging in complete all all the trainings do well in the trainings earn tokens which are like currency to play the mix and match game and attend live events and finally get some extra points by referring a retail pro friend you'll get your team off to the races so performing well as a team means you're going to be able to win things like you know codes gift cards great swag and something really special we're going to offer the winning team the option to donate to their charity of choice this is great you can use resources that you otherwise wouldn't have available to you to help support a cause that you really care about so we're really excited about that so that's in terms of the team but it's not just about your team success we have prizes for individuals as well. That's right, Brian. Absolutely. When you talk about being able to earn points just for yourself, I mean, the prizes even there are pretty astounding. We look at devices, consoles, I mean, things that you can actually take those team prizes like gift cards and better your experience with having the device already there in your home. So guys, I'm out there listening to this podcast and I'm thinking, uh, should I really bother? Should I attend? How should I prioritize Discovery Expo? Can you explain to me why I should care, why I should really be excited and pumped about attending Discovery Expo. I think it's all about prizes. We've heard that you guys want prizes loud and clear. And that's, I mean, that's really at the heart of Discovery Expo. You take our courses, you attend our live trainings and, and we've got the prizes. I also want to jump in here and say that you guys are always out there hungry for knowledge, but you also want to be rewarded for your time. And in this particular event, you're going to get rewarded with some great prizes. If you participate, put yourself out there that will help you, you know, invest in things that you may want, like perhaps gaming or maybe some tools you might want for productivity. I don't know. But uh, if you participate, definitely want to get those prizes. So for everyone out there listening, what is it they need to do right now? What's the next step to making sure they're all prepared and ready to start earning points and winning prizes for Discovery Expo? The first step is they need to be registered on Expert Zone and they need to make sure they get employee verified. That's really important. Next, they can go to aka.ms slash Discovery Expo, where there's a bunch of no before you go missions there. You can just stay up to date with everything you need to know before the event starts on June 1st. Come June 1st, you want to log in, check back every single day and stay engaged. All right. So that's what you need to know about Discovery Expo. We hope these prizes really, really excite you and get you interested in participating. With that, this has been Brian from Team Hipster Cat saying, yeah, whatever. We'll probably win. This is Richard Gunter, the Curious Cat Team Captain, signing off. All right. This is Gamer Cat signing off. And remember, folks, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This is Alex for Team Surfer Cat telling everyone out there to stay cool. Stay cool. This is Ryan of Team Cloud Cats. And you know what? We'll be on Cloud Nine where the air is fine. Unbelievable. 
This has been the Microsoft Megabyte Podcast, a training tool for Microsoft field team members and sales professionals across the country, produced by Microsoft employees.